Irish Music Month is proudly supported by Galway Bay FM, the BAI Sound and Vision Fund, Hot Press and XL Retail, offering a great deal more at your local store. Welcome to Irish Music Month here on Galway Bay FM with myself, Dylan Conley. Jack Lee, a huge congratulations on being one of our selected five for Thank Irish Music much. Month. Cheers. How are you? It's lovely to have you here. I'm good. I'm glad to be part of it, considering the list of names that are included. You know, um, It was kind of hard after the year and a half to think of who five acts were going to be, you know, because it's hard to know who who's still kind of grinding away sure. despite everything. But, you know, great acts, all five of them. So for the people who mightn't know you out yeah. there, Jack, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? I am, my name is Jack Lee. I'm from Galway, uh, North East County, Galway. And I'm playing... A long old time, but with this band, I'm playing about three years. That's including the nightmare that's been the last 18 months. But <laughs> Of course, yeah. I'm sure you've had plenty of time for writing and recording and all that kind of thing over no, the last year. Plenty of time for it, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, it was a hard year to get any sort of proper work done. Uh, we kind of, because of the way it was being rolled out, we were always three or four weeks away from back to normal, as far as I was concerned. So um, there was a lot of waiting and holding out, but we've been back working Back recording, back booking gigs, back whatever, uh, and getting kind of the band. The band definitely got tighter over the time. That's the one thing that definitely we cool. gained over the time off. You know, it's great to get back gigging, isn't it? Oh, it's mad. Look, I was just I was just saying before we started that uh, you know you're nearly taking everything, and then you know figure it out later. You yeah, know? of course. Um, because it's hard to it's hard to imagine saying no to any work now after losing it for so long. You know? Yeah, yeah. The Irish music scene has never been so varied, unique and strong at the moment. Absolutely. In your own words, how would you describe your sound? Oh, God, I don't know. Um, I bet that's one now I'm wrestling with that like, for, for years. Or your um, vibe even. It's definitely, like, there's definitely elements of folk in it. I spent a long time kicking against the idea that they were pop songs that I was writing, but I kind of, you know, I'm comfortable enough with that now. Do you know what I mean? I don't, I don't see the problems that I was seeing. Yeah. Um. See, I guess the thing is, when I'm on my own, because we could play really, out of the five of us in the band, we could play any combination of us. So it depends on what the accompaniment really is. It can get very rocky if all five of us are there, or if on my own, it's it's a tear fest. <laughs> From my own perspective, there's a hint of the frames in there. That's the highest praise I yeah. could ever hope for. Um, yeah, the frames would be a big one. The frames were the first gig I ever went to when I was about eight wow. in Red Light Records um, before, before record stores and I guess, to exist. which leads me on to my next question, who would your dream collaboration be? Oh. If you could work with anyone in the world, who would you like to work with or write with? It would be, it probably would be Glenn Hansard at the Frames, um, or I'm a massive Coldplay fan. I know you're not supposed to say that, at least, but massive, massive Coldplay fan. So I, um, those would be the two big ones, I think. Um, Good choice. Yeah, it's hard, it's different, say, what I would, the people I would like to write with versus the people I'd would love to play with. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, of course. Yeah. Do you find writing therapeutic? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's an absolute slog, you know, um, but that's why it's rewarding because I do, I think I'm quite a slow writer except for, you know, you know yourself, like the odd one falls out but for the most part, I kind of, because I do write them with the band in mind. And, with you, just from from knowing you or whatever, like yeah. you, you have a very um, unique way of writing because, as you said, you keep the band in mind. Yeah. But most of the parts that you know that we that we'll hear later on or whatever yeah. are kind of written and composed by you. Yeah, for the most part, I mean, I'm lucky in that the band, like the band, are all people that I already knew to be class from other bands, you know. And then I went around poaching, and <laughs> and they said they'd come along, but they, you know, they're very aware that I kind of have my idea already set and whatever now so they let you do your thing they, yeah but I also have no idea how to play a bloody fiddle like so so you know <laughs> so it does it does often come down to me saying at this point there's 30 seconds and if you just tell me something that you know um, we do a bit of massaging to make it work but yeah. it's good I think the thing is I, I was writing you know I was playing with my younger brother who's my drummer now uh, not today unfortunately he's in Minute, but um, I was writing with him for so long and even then writing for a two piece we were still you know at 15 and 13 or 16 whatever you know um, writing thinking about like oh imagine if we'd a fiddle player you know cool, yeah. imagine if we'd bloody drums that we could open up and whatever and so it's nice now because I am able to bring them songs with I've a lot of them for years had the arrangement already in my head you know That's so cool. it does make it easier to to kind of put the work to them 
the yeah. to get done. So you were hearing the parts in your head while you were writing the songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think everybody does to a certain extent. It's just mm -hmm. being lucky enough Finding to get musicians people. who'll put up with you. Then, <laughs> yeah. you know, <laughs> yeah, very lucky. So, what's the plan for the next two to three months? Have you got any gigs coming up? Are you yeah. releasing any music? We're we're working on a double single. Um, it's kind of, you know, this is the first interview I've had in so long, uh, and I'm grateful because I've been saying for a year, you know, that we've that we're gonna have stuff coming, and it's it's just been hard to see a good time to release it. Yeah. Uh, now there's kind of the country is opening up enough that you'd be confident that you know people will be out for a dance again. Sure, uh, I think people are just raging to get out oh, for live well, music. We're looking at we've we have a gig booked for the Roisin Dove on the 29th of October. Um, Lovely. And I kind of, when we booked it, because I wanted something maybe towards the end of the year, and then I was talking to the Roisin about it, and they'd asked if the 29th was too soon, but of course that's the week after every, the gates opened. Like, mm. So hopefully now that'll, uh, there'll be people champing at the bit, you know. Yeah, a good crowd well, I wish you the best of luck with that. Thank you very much. Have you, um, your music that's out there already, where can people find that stuff? Do you want to check you out, check your tunes out? It's on Spotify. Uh, we've two, I have two singles on Spotify that were released before I had the band. Uh, and then one live version that was released in the when, when COVID hit, we were like, three weeks without music, what are we going to do? So we released a live version of a tune that probably deserved a proper studio recording Yeah. Um, as the kind of first step with the band. Um, but we've great, we've great video stuff on YouTube from uh, these two boys in Turf Shed Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that we recorded yeah. in the Mal Theatre. And that's on your it. YouTube channel. That's on my YouTube channel, yeah. Um, and they can find you there at Jack Lee. Yeah, Jack Lee. I'd say there's about there's six or seven Asian fellas and then there's me <laughs> and, the, and the lead singer from the nerves. <laughs> there's a couple of Jack Lees, I think. I think Jack L has at least stepped back to Jack Luke at this stage. So the, okay. the market's opened up. Yeah. <laughs> Jack, thank you so much for joining us today and thank I wish you. you the best of luck with the rest of the competition. Cheers, brilliant. But for now, let's listen to some music. Absolutely, let's do it. Irish Music Month is proudly supported by Galway Bay FM, the BAI Sound and Vision Fund, Hot Press and XL Retail, offering a great deal more at your local store. Wish you could see how I look at you I wish you could hear what I think I've fallen for you for the second time And I'm only counting this week What if I say What if I You no longer see me that way Out of time, out of mind, out of sight But I've got something that I've got to say I know I shouldn't be here tonight But what if I say What if I
Irish Music Month is proudly supported by Galway Bay FM, the BAI Sound and Vision Fund, Hot Press and XL Retail, offering a great deal more at your local store.